Cost of flood damage has been a heavy financial burden on families all across Northwest Iowa. But what would you do if your repair costs total more than three times the value of your flood damaged home? That's the reality for one Spencer family. KTIV's Ellen Ide has more. When flood water rose in Spencer, Iowa on June 22nd, the Reese family was rescued by boat from their home's second story window. While the experience was traumatizing, they say their nightmare had just begun. Like many others, their home was deemed uninhabitable. After speaking to a contractor, the Reese family learned that their $100,000 home sustained damage that would cost over $300,000 to repair. Our house is destroyed. We got a contractor to come look at it, $300,000 to fix a $100,000 house. Like their only hope came in the form of a disaster relief loan. However, they still have a major hurdle in their path to rebuilding. With $70,000 left to pay on their mortgage, their hands are tied because they say their lender has no process in place to handle a natural disaster. Our lender told us things like, have you tried Googling what to do? Also, um, well, you could just tear it down and we never know. So I said, is that you giving me permission to tear my house down? Because like, what I've Googled says that that would put us in breach of our contract with our mortgage company and they could put us in immediate foreclosure and um, she said no I can't give you that permission. I spoke to their lender Truist Bank and was connected to their home preservation department. Yeah I wouldn't think that they would be able to, to, to you know do that without paying off the balance that's owed on the remaining balance that's owed on the home. Moments later the same representative gave a different response. They're able to continue making their payments which they may not be able to because of circumstances, but if they were able to keep continue to make the payments, um, as long as the loan is current, whatever construction or demolition, you know, you can you can do that to rebuild. But of course, if you're defaulting on the loan, you know, then that's something different. The Reese family is racing the clock to sort out their situation while demolition assistance is still available in Spencer. We don't want to walk away from our home. We, we've got a plan. We want to rebuild. It just it doesn't make sense to put $300,000 into a $100,000 house. In Spencer, Iowa, Ellen Eid, KTIV News 4. And just today, a plea from the Spencer Chamber of Commerce. They're encouraging anyone impacted by the flood to apply for FEMA's disaster housing relief. Spencer's Disaster Recovery Center, by the way, is in the Towergate Pavilion of the Clay County Fairgrounds.